Uh, yeah, my name's Gareth George, and the title of my play is Anonymity. Um, Anonymity is a play about two men, they're strangers, and they have come to the basement of an abandoned building um, to do a job, and we don't know anything about the job, and we don't know who they're working for. And as the play progresses, we, uh, we find out a lot more about their characters and the job itself, I think. Good question. Um, so about a year ago, um, I was studying at Alvaro North, um, acting, and we were required as part of the master's course to do, um, I think called a PRP, it's like a dissertation. Um, so I decided I'd like to write a play, um, because it, it's, it's a practical thing mainly, so you write a thesis on it, but you, it's about creating something. So I invested a lot of time in studying playwrights that I'm particularly fond of, um, and reading their plays and just trying to sort of discover the mechanics of how you write a play in that, in that way. Um, and then I sort of went away, thought about some of the experiences that I'd gained through um, the plumbing world was, was the big one and that's what's mainly influenced this play I would say. So when I worked um, for a local housing association um, there were some very intriguing scenarios there where I worked with people who I didn't know. Um, and I just found that the, the sort of the dynamics of the room that I was in um, threw up sort of a lot of dramatic possibilities, I think. Um, and I just began to write little bits of dialogue and it just sort of grew from there, really. A favourite scene, I really, really like the opening scenes of the play um, because we established this sort of world um, of the basement, if you like, and we don't see anything outside of that and there's a lot of kind of oddity about the basement. We have these two chalk lines drawn diagonally across the space and the two characters are divided in that and the chalk lines are basically there to to separate the men in their job because it is an underhand job and they're not there, not supposed to be there doing this thing. Um, and I like the interplay between the two characters in those first two scenes because we learn a lot about how different they are um, and also the sort of the absurdity around what they talk about but the fact that they're in this situation that's a lot more serious than the things that they're placing emphasis on if you like i tell you what it's it's taught me a lot i've i think i've probably learned more about myself about um my sort of capabilities as a writer, um, everything. I, I've learnt more, I think, in the last six months than I've ever learnt in my life, I think. Is that a really over-dramatic statement to make? Uh, maybe, but I'm going to say it anyway. Yeah, I feel like in the last six months since I started writing this play that I've learnt more than I've ever learnt about myself. But I think what it's done mainly for me is it's shown that I can write a play and that it's given me the enthusiasm and the motivation to want to write more. So it's opened up a new side to me, definitely. And I think it's helped me as an actor as well because I now see things from all sides of a spectrum if you like maybe not directorial but obviously I've worked with directors so I understand how they work but I've never directly worked with writers on, on I've never really workshopped new writing so now I kind of understand how to work in conjunction with a writer and understand their needs as well as actors needs as well I think it is a stage play I can't see it as anything else I mean I have spoken to somebody who, when they read it, they said, I could really see that adapted into perhaps a screenplay um, or even a short film, maybe. I can see what they're saying in that, in that sense, but the way it is written, for me, it is very theatrical. So, no, I think it would be a stage piece after 24-7 after if it was going to have a life after.